I was chilling with my boy and he was like, hey, I saw your Raising Kids Weird on Purpose video and you know that's not how it's gonna work, right? Whatever you want your kids to be into, they're gonna wanna do the opposite. It doesn't matter what it is. I was like, um, that sucks for them. Cause if one day I'm like, hey kids, let's watch anime. And they go, anime sucks. I'm gonna have to drive them to the mall and leave them there. From Trinidad and from the islands, we don't know that world. We don't have a choice. My mom wanted me to learn piano when I was little. Guess who took piano lessons for eight years? Eight. Eight years. I'm over at my white friend's house and they're calling their parents by first name. Their mama walk in. David, how many times did I tell you clean your room before friends come over? Dang it, Susan, what the F? How many times have I told you stay out of my flipping room? Let me try something like that. My mom would not let me get the second syllable out of my mouth. Adonde, clean your room! Oh yeah? Well that- psh, 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 psh. <sighs> Natasha wins fatality, flawless victory. <laughs> That's how that would go down. Not all my white friends would talk to their parents like that, but even now, I'll be chilling with my friends and their mom or dad will call and look at the caller ID and be like, ugh. And I started wondering, like, why does that happen? Like, they're not fighting with their parents, they're not mad at their parents, and then I caught myself a little while ago doing this. And, I've, and I, I, I started wondering, like, why is that attitude associated with our parents? I think it's internally, we start bottling up all the times that our parents have ever annoyed us, and we just put it in a certain compartment in our brain. Not really doing the same for ourselves. You know how many times when I was little, my dad would be like, all right, I'm ready, go pee before we leave. <laughs> I don't even have to pee pee. 15 minutes later, we're on the road, and I'm looking up at my dad like, to use the bathroom. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all were like me. I was a mischievous kid. This is a Dondi Thorn. Yes, that's me. You know how many times I've stolen stuff from the grocery store? My mom would finish shopping. We're in the car driving home. <laughs> my mom turned around like, um, where did you get that Butterfingers from? One day, my grandmother got me so mad. I wrote her a letter with three words on it. F you, Grandma. And I remember just the letter F. It was a whole word. There was no blurred mosaic on it. It was the full word. I left it on her bed, and I was out. My grandmother found it. She started dying of laughter. But my mom, she was so mad. She was like, Adonde! I'm so mad. I don't even know what to do to you right now. Granted, there are some pretty crappy parents out there in the world. My friend Colleen, her mom, got six credit cards underneath Colleen's name, maxed them all out, and crashed Colleen's credit. That's a crappy mom. I think at a certain point we all start taking our parents for granted, but there was one thought that really like resonated with me. My mom called me one day, I was getting ready to start rolling my eyes, and I thought, you know what? This lady is instrumental to my existence. If not for her, I wouldn't even be here right now. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no regular friend should be more important or more of a priority than your parents. I know, crazy, right? Because honestly, our parents didn't have to have us. And even after they did, it would have been very easy for them to just pull up somewhere, be like, peace, and bounce. I don't know, just something to keep in mind next time your parents are being annoying AF.